Hey guys, how are you? So many people ask me, um, especially when it comes to mobile apps, should I hire a developer, should I hire an agency, or should I learn to pr make the apps on my own? And neither of, none, like neither of, there is no silver bullet here, like they're all challenging things. Um, I personally prefer that you learn on your own. And, and, but, but let me get into all the pros and cons of all three of these. First of all, let's talk about learning on your own. Many people find this the least favorite option because it's naturally easy to just hand somebody a bunch of cash and say, go make me an app. Oh, I don't have to do anything. Hey, you, hey, you developer, go make me an app. And then, you know, uh, you, you, you like, oh, uh, and then you feel like I'm a great entrepreneur. Uh, I'm, I, my idea is getting made, right? But, but it's not like that, right? Because um, there's a lot of hardships when it comes to creating, getting your app made by an agency or a developer. Part of it is having to hand over a lot of money. And part of it is these projects tend to drag on and these projects, you know, they have ups and downs. A lot of them fail because, of, you know, maybe the developer doesn't deliver or whatever. So it's not that easy, right? And it feels and seems like it's gonna get you there but it's not that easy. And you end up running out of cash and all that kind of thing. So what I did is I really learned how to program on my own. I mean, granted, I did computer, I studied computer science when I was in college. So I have an advantage. But um, there were no mobile apps when I was in college. I had to learn that by banging my head against the wall, right? I Googled, you know, how do you make an Android app and then Every issue that I came, you know, every challenge I came up, came, came against, I had to kind of look up that, like, how do you solve this? How do you solve that? And it was like a long process. Learning anything isn't that easy, right? Because you're confused, you feel discouraged, all those, all those emotions, you know? Um, it's learning something hard is not a pleasant experience. Um, but you have to be strong and get through it. Um, my estimation is that if you're making an app, you can learn to make your app in about three months. If you have no prior experience, maybe four to five months. Um, very often, this is the time horizon that an agency will give you or a developer. Um, they might also give you a similar time horizon. Um, the difference is that if you learn to make your app, guess what? When you want to make your second app, you can just do it. And the third app, you can just do it. And actually, that's pretty much what I did. Like the first one was hard, and the second one was like a breeze. Took me like a few days, um, and when I had to learn, I learned Android first. Then I had to learn iOS. I, the iOS took a while to learn, so it took like a month or two to learn how to make apps on this platform. It was again confusing because it's a little bit different than Android. But when it came to my second iOS app, I was like, boom, quicker. It's the third one, quicker. And this is just something that doesn't happen if you hire agencies. Plus, you can always once you learn to code, you got a great skill that people want to hire you for and pay reasonably good money, right? So this is a good skill to learn. Um, and I always urge patients, I'll be honest, almost no one takes this advice from me. When I talk to entrepreneurs, I give this advice, they say, yes, 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 I see your point. And then they end up, if they're, if they're not technical, they end up searching for technical co-founders. It's not easy to find a good one. And then they end up like getting frustrated and then they end up hiring an agency or a developer and then it goes into, you know, spending a lot of money. Um, and if you have a big investment in your business, it changes a lot. Like, you know, you can't, you like, not all monetization strategies, not all marketing strategies work because you've got to go much bigger now, right? Because you kind of have to recoup all the losses, right? So you got to go much bigger. Um, just different strategies just close and open up um, depending on, you know, did you spend like 20 or 50K um, trying to fund, trying, you know, trying, trying to just start this business, right? And really the tragic thing also is that when people hire agencies or developers, they typically hire them to create something that, w that they can launch their app. And they often hope that they launch their app, they get users, and then investors come and they get an investment and the app grows and blah, blah, blah. But often this is not how it works because when you release your app, that's just day one. That's just step one. Over time, I've had like 200 updates to my app of different features. I got to take them out. I put something in, I experiment with that, I experiment with this. And 
I mean, if I had to hire someone, it would be like hundreds of thousands of dollars, or maybe over a hundred, over a hundred thousand dollars for sure. Um, and my apps are still by no means perfect. So um, even though I mean, like they have substantial download numbers, they have over five, they have over five hundred thousand downloads, but altogether. But I mean, I made them for free just because I made them, right? If I had to hire someone. I mean, there would be a big difference in how I would see the success of these apps. I probably, you know, like it would, I would probably be in a hole financially, which is which would not be a good thing at all. Um, so you see, there's a lot of challenges because when you first launch your app, a lot of entrepreneurs they tend to spend all their money just on the launch, but that's really just day one. It's just a start because what's really got to happen is you know a business is like a you know it's a marathon. You've got to have the fuel to continuously improve the app and you can't be paying, if you don't get an investment, you can't be paying out of pocket. You just can't, you can't do it that much, right? Unless you're so rich. Um, most people aren't. So uh, that's why I really recommend learning to make the apps because it's free. You wanna make an update? It's free, just spend a couple hours. Um, it, it's an, it's the, the difference in your experience is night and day, right? Um, it's So again, it's like frustrating to learn this, but you'll get so much benefit out of out of learning how to make the apps on your own long term. So that's that thing. Um, so I in some cases well also I want to make you know a note about getting investment because often many entrepreneurs they think like oh I'll launch and I'll grow my product, my app and then I'll get an investment and it very rarely works that way. Very 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 is that clear? Very very few apps um, get investment or even crowdfunding because a lot of people they can't get an investment they're like oh I'll go, I'll go get crowdfunding that doesn't work either I mean you can maybe crowdfund a little bit of money but can't crowdfund a lot of money for most just about all apps you know they can't generate that much money in crowdfunding um, so it's challenging um, you see the, no way is like great but my recommendation is um, try to learn on your own. You, you'll have to take it extremely seriously. You'll fail along the way. It will be frustrating to learn on your own. It will be frustrating. You'll be stuck a lot of the time. You're going to want to rip your hair out. You're going to feel bad about yourself. Um, but this is the process of learning pains. You've got to be tough enough to get through that. Because if you're not tough enough to get through that, I mean, that you, you know, you kind of have to be tough enough to, to get through that if you're going to be an entrepreneur. Because as tough as this is going to be, this is by far not the toughest thing you're going to have to face. By far. Um, you know, so I really recommend that you take the learning of making apps seriously, give yourself a lot of time, maybe take time off from work. Um, there's plenty, plenty, plenty of resources online to help you. It's not like you're going to be doing this alone. Like 10 or 20 years ago, you'd be doing this much more alone. Now you can take like online courses that might help you. There's like forums, things like that. Um, and so there, there's no, it, it shouldn't be that hard. Um, and guess what? Like, I'll tell you, um, I wouldn't have been able to make my apps without all these online forums um, and all the resources. So. And I'm a developer, like, and I'm able to admit it and say it. Like, those things are so helpful. They're there for you. Um, just make sure that you're resourceful enough to take advantage of everything that's there, and you work hard enough. And I, I really, I really believe that this is a far better way to start your app business, and not just your current app, but your second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth app. Um, it's a far better way to do, to do this than to hire some agency or develop or developer, because um, the I hear a lot of like fail stories and it's just, um, so I really recommend that you learn how to make your apps.